Welcome to the course Big Data Analytics. In this lecture, we will discuss about one of the NoSQL database, MongoDB. So here, overview and advantages of MongoDB will be demonstrated in this lecture. Coming to the outline, here first we will see overview of MongoDB followed by advantages. MongoDB. So the reference material for this lecture is taken from tutorialspoint.com. Here the URL is given https www.tutorialspoint.com. For more details, you can use this URL. Let us come to MongoDB overview. MongoDB that we know which is an open source document database and leading NoSQL database. Actually, MongoDB is written in C++ language. MongoDB is a cross-platform document-oriented database which provides high performance, high availability and easy scalability. MongoDB works on concept of collection and document. So here we have to know what is collection, what is document in MongoDB. Let us come to first database. That we know database earlier, other than NoSQL, what are the databases we are having? We are having RDBMS, Relational Database Management System. Normally, a database is a physical container for collections. Each database gets its own set of files on the file system. We will see what is collection in detail here. A single MongoDB which can typically consisting of multiple databases. A single MongoDB server typically has multiple databases. Then what is collection? Here we will use the term collection. A collection is nothing but a group of MongoDB documents. It is the equivalent of an RDBMS table. In relational database management system, whatever the table. So here collection is equivalent to RDBMS table in MongoDB documents. What a collection contains? Collection exists within a single database. Collections do not enforce a schema. That is overall database design. Here, documents within a collection can have different fields. Typically, all documents in a collection are of similar or related purpose. Then what is document? Here, a document is defined as a set of key value pairs. In MapReduce, we know what is key value combination. So here a document is a set of key value pairs. Documents have dynamic schema here. Here schemas are not static. It has a dynamic schema. Dynamic schema means that documents in the same collection do not need to have the same set of fields or structure and common fields in a collections document which may hold different types of data. So that is the meaning of dynamic schema here. Then let us see the following table shows the relationship of RDBMS terminology with MongoDB. So in RDBMS, what are the terms we will use and what are the equivalent terms in MongoDB, which, which can be shown in the following table. So let us see. So here first column consisting of RDBMS terminology, then the second column consisting of MongoDB terminology. In RDBMS terminology, a database, we'll call it as a database. In MongoDB also, same, a database. Then in RDBMS table, so table is denoted with the table, the same table in MongoDB is called as collection. Table, uh, what it consisting of rows and columns. In RDBMS, the table. 
terminology whereas mongodb the equivalent uh, name is collection then in rdbms tuple or row that means in table number of rows that means records so denoted with tuple or row whereas mongodb tuple or rows are denoted with the document then uh, in rdbms column that means table consisting of rows and columns columns also called as field in rdbms also sometimes we will use in mongodb we can't call it as column we will use it as field only then in rdbms table join in mongodb the equivalent uh, term is embedded documents in rdbms primary key which is a key constraint so primary key here mongodb the primary key is denoted as primary key with the default key with uh, underscore id provided by mongodb itself so here default key that is denoted with underscore id which can be provided by mongodb itself then here database server and client so in rdbms it is called as my sql d small d that is a database server or oracle in mongodb simply we'll call it as mongo mongo d that that's it so to start is its server or service then uh, rdbms client mysql or sql plus whereas in mongodb the client is mongo simply so during our uh, practicing of the commands in mongodb this we have to remember first we have to start uh, the database server using mongod then uh, you have to minimize it and open another prompt there you can uh, type mongo so which opens our client prompt so these terminals we have to remember comparison with rdbms and equivalent terminology in mongodb so let us see sample document example the following example shows the document structure of a blog site which is simply a comma separated key value pair so this uh, sample document is related to blog site which is simply a comma separated key value now let us see the sample document so the document uh, represented within open braces so here first uh, key we mentioned previously so here key uh, by default defined with uh, underscore id underscore id so is the key so what is the key here let us assume object id some id is given here then uh, next uh, parameter is title so title for example working mechanism of mongodb what we are discussing now then description is the next component so what is the description of this title mongodb is a no sql database then by so by whom so it is defined by big data analytics then what is its url so this is the url www.mongodb.com this is the core website for mongodb then what are its tags this is the blog site related sample data structure which looks like simply comma separated key value pair so here uh, whatever the uh, the value we have mentioned before colon that is key here underscore id is key here title is key here description is key here by is key url is key tag is key like is key then after colon whatever that is the value now it is uh, like a key value pair with the comma separated here see everything we separated with the comma every key value pair then url is over then tags so what are the tags here mongodb database no sql etc for example for this blog site how many likes let us assume 100 uh, this is the sample document now continuation is also there okay uh, next here comments you want to define comments uh, within square bracket we have to define with the open brace so here the key is user then value is uh, user one uh, name of the user within quotations here comma separated then uh, next key is message so what is the message my first comment let us assume then data created is the next key what is its uh, 
date created, new data for. So, for example, 2020-22 month is September, then date is 28th, then time to 15. So, like zero, like that. So, uh, this is a comment representation. Still, some more are there. Continuation, let us see. Okay, uh, then, uh, so here, uh, then again, another user wants to provide comment, then keys user, then user 2, then message, my second comment, date created, the new date, using new date method, 2022, uh, 9th month, 29th, then time 745, etc., likes file, etc., again, close that square bracket, then uh, close the braces, so like that, you have to define. So in this sample document, let us see the explanation about uh, underscore ID, which is a 12 bytes hexadecimal number where underscore ID is a, which assures the uniqueness of every document. Here we can provide uh, underscore ID while inserting the document. If we don't provide, then MongoDB provides a unique ID for every document, even without providing MongoDB provides a unique ID for every document. Here, out of the 12 bytes, first four bytes used for the current timestamp. Then next three bytes used for machine ID. Then next two bytes for process ID of MongoDB server. Finally, the remaining three bytes are simple incremental value. So this is the overview of MongoDB.